Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to Just Another Dang How To channel. So it's been a while since my last video. On this video, we're gonna learn how to use version control on Unreal Engine. Let's go. All right, so for the version control, the one I'm gonna be using is GitHub. So github.com is free, you could sign up. So once you sign up and have a GitHub account, um, click on new to create a new repository. So for this one, I'm just gonna keep everything the default i'm not going to create a repository template so i'm just going to say git ue5 demo here and immediately click on create repository so this is what i'll get so i'll now have a git url which is this one for this project now let me open up Epix games launcher so i'm now using 5.1 I'm running Apple M1 Pro, uh, the base model on Ventura, and it has been pretty stable so far for the past couple of days. So for this one, I'm just gonna create a blank project, but I want the starter content just to keep the project light. And I'm gonna say UE5 demo git and click on create. Cool. So this is the default uh, blank project. Uh, let me open up the finder and go to that directory and I name it UE5 git demo so this is the project and these are all the files for this uh, game project if I just quickly check how big it is it's around 650 megs so that should be pretty quick to upload to the repository so to get started to enable source control here you could go under tools and select connect to source control it's gonna ask you for a provider you select git the beta version and then you need to fill in this other details it would be auto automatically be populated for you so the git path by default is under this directory if it's not under that directory um, you could open up the terminal and you could say which git and that would uh, tell you the path where git is so let me close that down and then for the url for the remote uh, server this is the one we just created from github so just paste in that url and then you have the option to add a git ignore file a basic readme file which is this one and make an initial git commit i haven't seen this working properly but we'll try again see if that works so click on initialize project with git so what this would do is would start tracking all those files and put them in version control. So if I open up the hidden folder here, you would see that there's a git folder that is used to track all these files. Cool. And there's also a readme file added, which is the same one that we just saw. Cool. If I hit on accept settings um, and I open up the content drawer here, and probably let's open up the maps i don't see any icon here which is strange uh, anyway i think the initial commit just worked so let me open up the finder and open up the terminal from here and let's see git status ah uh, yeah so if I say git log, so the initial commit did work, it just needs some time. So because maybe my file size is a little bit small, so it was able to do the initial commit. Now if I want to push this to the remote server, um, I could go say git push, but it would complain that there's no upstream branch. So to make an upstream branch, I could copy this git push dash dash set dash upstream origin main. 
and paste it here back in the terminal and that should technically push all these files uh, to the remote so it might take some time it's around 600 megs so let's see how fast or slow this would go all right so the push took a while I had to repeat it um, one more time because the connection uh, disconnected so just for about 650 megs um, it took like the whole night just uploading for the initial commit and I also had this warning that one of the files is bigger than the recommended maximum file size of 50 MB so that is something to note when using github uh, anyway uh, the files uh, are now in the remote as you can see here it only loaded the config and the contents uh, locally it didn't um, upload the derived data intermediate and save folder these are all on the git ignore file um, to ignore those uh, directories cool so now that we have the file uploaded here in github i can go back to my project and perhaps just on the starter content here on the maps i could create a new level just for testing you would see it would have a question mark that means it's untracked and if i right click and select uh, mark for add it would uh, now be available for tracking and for staging so I could go back to the command line and show you how that looks like so I could say git status you would see there's new file ready to be committed so I could do it here on the command line and again I could do it from the Unreal editor but I like to do it on the command line so I'm just gonna say git commit and add a message and say added new level and then I'm gonna say git push again and that should push that new uh, test level in the remote repository so if I go back here and go under maps you would see that this new uh, level has been added so that's it. That's how to use uh, GitHub to start version control your uh, Unreal Engine project. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.